Okay, it's Sue from Tea Time Together here again on Wednesday morning this morning. So I wonder what I've got inside my golden egg today. But before I tell you, show you that, I'm just going to answer the question that I set for you yesterday. Do you remember I asked you to try and find out the name of the high priest's servant who had his ear cut off? His name was Malchus. M-A-L-C-U-S. Malchus. So we're moving on today to the next part of the Easter story. Here's my egg and inside there's a cockerel. So today's story has something to do with a cockerel. Do you remember I told you the story the other day about Jesus having a special meal with his friends, a last supper. And at that supper he said to them, one of you, or all of you, are going to leave me and abandon me and pretend that you don't know me. And Peter had stood up and he said, No, Jesus, I'm definitely not going to abandon you. I will always be your friend and always be there for you. Well, after Jesus was arrested in that garden that I told you about yesterday, all of the disciples did run away. Except for Peter, he followed into a courtyard and he was hiding there, trying to find out what was going to happen to Jesus. Somebody came up to him and they said to him, Aren't you one of Jesus' friends? I'm sure I've seen you with Jesus. And somebody else came up to him and they said to him, Yes, I'm sure I have seen you with him. You're one of his friends. <coughs> then a servant girl came up to him as he was warming himself by the fire. You sound just like Jesus. You're from Galilee. You've got the same accent as him. I know you're one of his friends. cock crowed for the third time and just then Peter remembered what Jesus had said to him before the cock crows three times you will say three times that you don't know me he wept bitterly the question I want to ask you to try and think about today ready for tomorrow is why even though Peter was one of Jesus' best friends, why did he say three times that he didn't know Jesus? What do you think? Right, for our activity today, I want you to make a picture of a rooster. Pause. <laughs> okay, here it is. Sorry, I thought I'd left it indoors. There's mine. I'm gonna put a picture on the Facebook page for you to use if you want to, to start off, a picture of a cockerel, but you can draw your own. You can do anything you want to. Now if you've got feathers, you can stick on, that would be wonderful. If you just want to draw them on, that's fine. Or if you want to do what I've done, we, I made some paper feathers. Do you remember how I showed you to make palm leaves the other day? Just snipped into them, didn't we? This time you can just make lots of little snips all the way up to the top of the leaf or feather and then we're going to stick them on you can bend them and make me a wonderful picture of a cockerel now if you send that to me here's my email address or I'll put it onto the Facebook page as well if you send me your pictures and I can put them on to show everybody else what you've been doing that would be great. So, we're just going to finish again with our blessing prayer. Hopefully you're getting to know this by now. So, may God bless you and protect you. May God shine his face towards you. May God be kind to you and give you his peace.
that's all for today and I'll see you tomorrow, see what will be in my egg tomorrow.